don't see another one. I figured he might be another one around here. Missing a tough off his ear. Probably been fighting. He's laying there on the side, side of the road. Snowbanks here. Dogs here. Whining. They don't care. Hey, puss. Puss, 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 puss. Meow. Meow. Bark at him, Sheed. He said, I've been clipped by them before. Well, I'm going to leave him alone. I was hoping to get him to move. And he's... I'll stay right here. March 14th. Just up here at work. Graders ahead of me. Just plowed this out again. Quite a bit of snow. It's almost level with the snow bank there. You had to make three, two, three passes to get through here. Got home from work early, so uh, figured I'd get my oil changed on my sled. I put her in there last night, did some stuff to her. I take the muffler off to do the oil change because the filter's in there. I think uh, I think some people just. I don't know. I've heard guys say they can do it without taking the muffler off. Maybe do this on oak these down here and move it to the side. But I just take it off. So I was just thinking maybe uh, I show you what I do. It's the simplest way to get those springs on. I don't know if anybody else does it or not. Or I know it's, you can fight with them. But I just put them on a big screwdriver in between there. Then I got something to torque on. It's hard to. I don't have no tripod here, so sorry to show you. Okay. Putting back the further on the spring. But you gotta have it lined up so it's. It's gonna slip again. I'm gonna it. Sometimes they go on there like lickety split, just, but this was the last one and the hardest one to get in there. So. There you go. I see guys using needle nose pliers and it's hard to get uh, that around there when you got the pliers right in the way. Screwdriver is the easiest I've found. Just stick it in the spring and then you can pull on. I got a long handle screw. Like a, 
I don't know. We're just I got this back in Newfoundland and brought it up here with me. I put another ant in my my father put an anvil in for me. That was years ago, so I found it at some old toolbox in somebody's shop and they told me to take it and then put an anvil in it. God only knows how old it is. But I use it lots. It's good for getting down in stuff. That's what I did then. I lost that spring down there, so I just put it on the spring and give it a punch and picked it up because I got my magnetic thing out in the truck, my other tools. I wasn't going to get it, so got them all on there now. Gear all chains, oil chains, grease. I guess got a grease up and under the track. My suspension, I grease these. Had some play in my steering down there, my handlebars, and it's a rinky dinky. I took it apart and it's just like a rubber bunch of three rubber things joined together like a gasket. And that's what it slips on. So all I had, I didn't know what else put there to take up some slop. So I put electrical tape around the rubber, then put that clamp back on. So to get me through another while. They're not as bad now. Fourteen thousand on this sled. It's not too bad. Okay. I guess I give her a whirl. Get that oil to go through. So I gotta add some more oil. I started her up and backed her up with the muffler off. Holy! It was loud. Yep. It's from Matt. Just in case I can get a couple ice fishing trips and it's supposed to warm up here on my days off. So today's Sunday, March. I think this is St. Patrick's Day. Well, we made it to the lake after all winter. She's a nice day so far. Minus six or eight. It was calling for 18 kilometers of wind, which is a lot for the lake. But uh, not too bad here now. If the sun says they like put up with a bit of wind, but no bite yet. We just got here right to the end of the auger, four feet. But first two feet is like slushy ice. Then the last foot or two is foot or so is hard ice. See, don't know what's going on. It's first time he's been ice fishing. He traveled in the, the wood sleigh with Caitlin. Plus I got the other sleigh in tow with a bunch of wood and the auger. <laughs> was lots of overflow. People got in trouble out here, but uh, I think we'll survive. Water. Four feet. Oh, water. water. There's only about a couple feet of water under the ice. Oh, there's a shade. Got another little one that came in. Came in closer. Chopped out a hole that was already here. It's a skinny guy, too. Shade. You'd be good to it now. Oh, he's already touched the juice. He's not very lively. He did slam the hook pretty good though. Hey, be good. He's gone. You had to get your teeth on him, didn't you? Just in there, out there.
don't seem like she's working right. ain't what they used to be. More plastic on them than anything else. Everything made to throw away. The gas is leaking out the tank where the line's going through the tank. You can rubber gas get there and dry rod in the ditch. The gearbox is leaking there and it's a tight metal. Turning slow because she had to turn all that water plus. Okay, four inches of kind of hard ice that you go break through with the feet. And then there's uh, about four inches of water and then ice again. anymore and she wouldn't do it. <laughs> Good to have the extension so you don't get your auger motor stuff wet. The shade got to go make sure it's okay. Oh, that was hard. Yeah, she don't seem like she's going full throttle. No, it, uh, it's got like a clutch in it that stops it if it brings up. Yeah, that might need to be adjusted to you. Water in there, yeah, it's so. slush too, and you can't you can't get it out because it's too much water in there. It just stays there. Let me fish you get so far. You How about you? Not a ting. Not a ting. Bye. Slow fishing. I got two, but. Got an either one. I threw them back so that don't count. Better than none. Don't help none in the freezer. Beans and wieners. Ooh, hot. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. Ooh. That fire is not liking you today. Tristan said I sat in the only spot that didn't have any smoke. Shades in the background. Finally sitting there. And not drooling. <laughs> nice day. Out of the wind. There's a little breeze out there. Nothing serious though. I've seen a lot worse up here. But there's a layer overflow there. So we're not venturing nowhere else. Only out there. I'd like to go over off the Grand Banks over there. But there's some big pike over that way and usually you get a mix of everything pike cling cod prick, or walleye not today i don't feel like calling search and rescue guess they've been up here a couple times the winter already Smoke still getting in your eyes, boy? Yeah. Oh, I just waste some of my tea. Can't be at that. What's this? Oh, junk some wood under my ass. Hey, go sit. Go sit. Sit. Just pulled out a nice one. That's the kind of ones to look for, nice fat ones. Across the back. Hey, get out of there. <laughs> it's not rocket. Your turn. Come on.
squirrel. March 21st. Just burning some old punky pine. Cutting some dry stuff and the not so good stuff I burn in my shop or fire pit or whatever. Nice fire there now. My uh, crusher cone is down there somewhere, a couple feet. I tapped on it with the axe head there. It's probably minus eight or so. Cooled off, never really melted today. Oh, she's a nice fire there now. Still wearing my fake fur hat. I gave Tristan my muskrat one a couple years ago when he was up here. He had this one that was too big for him. I've been going to try to tan some fur and switch it over to real fur. It's pretty bad. Trapper can't wear real fur. <laughs> I say it all the time. But I can't afford to go buy one either. <sighs> I just had the truck, I, my t back tire come loose and broke stud off. So then I had to get the seal changed and everything. It was $500. And then we went fishing on the way back. I smelled gear oil when we got out. And the seal on the other side's buggered. Just had that done last year too. So. What the hell's going on? Can't keep up with it all. Lord, jeez. No end to it. No end to it. He's, I said squirrel. Now he, he's tracking it over there because his tracks are going to that shed. Snow hasn't really settled down much yet. It's just toughening up. I just come in across there. You stop, it kind of sinks down some, but another while should be good going. 